All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 31. And we are continuing with that standard algorithm, getting really close to that official standard algorithm for dividing decimals by decimals. So uh, the classic idea is they want us to estimate, then they want us to divide. Okay, kind of very traditional. Uh, however, the way this looks to me is it looks like they want us to... Uh, estimate first. And I'll tell you, my experience with kids in estimating decimals, division, uh, their estimation is really poor um, because of the combination of the fact that they're dividing and they're dividing by decimals. And um, so what I would recommend, and I believe Engage New York and Eureka Math does this, is I would say first write it as a fraction there's our division, and of course we're going to multiply by 1, so in this case we're going to multiply by 10 over 10, which gives us 616 divided by 8. Now I would have my students estimate with this value. I would not try and have them estimate using the decimals. So let's see. 616 divided by 6. Oh, I would say, well, that's pretty close to, I don't know, 640 divided by 8. And so the answer is 80. So our estimation is going to be around 80. So let's get working on this. So once we have done our, we've taken our fraction, we multiplied by 1 so that the denominator is a whole number, now it's very likely we're going to have to go over here on scratch paper and divide. So 8 goes into 600s. hundreds. You can't eight six hundreds cannot be broken up into eight groups. So we're going to do 61 tens. So 8 goes into 61. Oh, seven times. So that's 56 tens. And then we subtract and we get five tens. And we're going to bring down that 6. So now we have 56 1s. And 8 goes into 56 1s. So that could be separated uh, 7 times. So the answer is 77. So the actual answer is 77. Our estimation was 80. That's pretty darn close. So that tells us we're at least reasonable. Our answer is a reasonable answer. And of course, it's correct. So, again, this is just another example uh, where we're, our students are using that. They're calling it the standard algorithm. I don't know if I'd call this the standard algorithm. Um, but the idea is use the thought bubble to show your thinking as you rename your divisor. So, first, we're going to write that division as a fraction. And remember, we want a denominator that is a whole number. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. In, in this case, I think an, easier, an easy way to do it would be to multiply, and I shouldn't have put an equal sign, I should have put a multiply by, multiply by 100 over 100. So we're multiplying by 1. Remember, this is just 1. So we're multiplying by 1, which is 100 over 100, and that gives us the new fraction 752 over 8. So now, over here on scratch paper, 752 divided by 8, we can do our division. And 75 divided by 8 is 9, so that's 72 with 3 left over. And now we have 32, and 32 divided by 8 is 4, so our answer is 94. And so that's our answer, is 94. And the last problem for this video, it says a group of 14 friends collects 7 tenths pound blueberries. All right, so that's how much blueberries we have. And they decide to make blueberry muffins. They put 0 0.05 pound of blueberries into each muffin. How many muffins can they make? So it turns out 
we don't care about the 14. We don't need the 14. Because really all we care about is the fact that we have 7 tenths of a pound of blueberries and we're going to divide by 0 0.05. And remember, we're going to write that as a fraction. And now we're going to multiply by 1. So what should our 1 be? It's 100 over 100. And so that equals, so 7 tenths times 100, so that's going to equal 70 over 5. And then, of course, 0 0.05 times 100 is 5. There you go. So now we have 70 divided by 5, and we're probably going to need to use scratch paper. So 70 divided by 5, 7 divided by 5 is 1 with 2 left over. 20 divided by 5 is 4 with nothing left over. So our answer is 14. They can make 14 muffins. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 31, Dividing Decimals by Decimals.